Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see a job update from Intel. So there is a recruitment happening for interns uh, in Intel and we are going to see about three intern posts in this video. So I'll be discussing with you three different post uh, names which are recruitments for interns. So if you are interested in any of these posts, you can apply. The three links will be uh, available in the description box. Okay. So let us see about these internship updates. First one is uh, graduate intern uh, that is graduate intern UEFI FW engineer so the qualifications they are asking here is MS in computer science or electrical engineering also excellent programming uh, skills in C scripting languages like Python also good understanding of computer architecture data structures good understanding of embedded system software hardware interface okay so here uh, they are mainly concentrating on computer science background, electronics, electrical, all this background. Okay. That is, if you have uh, MS in computer science or EC or triple E, all these backgrounds can apply for this intern post. Okay. And also, they are uh, asking knowledge in uh, C language, Python, also data structure knowledge, computer architecture knowledge, and embedded systems. Okay. So, that is the qualification requirements for the first post, which is graduate in uh, intern. UEFI FW engineer. The location is Bangalore. Okay. Next one. Next post, it is pre silicon validation intern. Okay. And here we have just set qualifications as M tech. Okay. So uh, here also, uh, since Intel is a company mainly uh, for electrical electronics background people, also computer science uh, background, computer science IT, all these people can also apply here. Okay. So, if you have a MTech in uh, these related areas, then you will get a preference. Okay. So, anyway, they have given uh, the qualification as just MTech. So, this is the second post. Here also the location is Bangalore. Okay. So, this is the second post name, which is pre silicon validation intern. Third one is graduate intern. Here, the primary location is Bangalore itself. All the three posts are Bangalore based. So if you are getting selected, you will be working in the Bangalore location. Okay. Here also the qualification they have mentioned is MTech. Okay. So this is the third post. Also, you can see that uh, the job ID on top of uh, every uh, post notification. First one you can see is the job ID. This is the first job ID. The second job ID is here. And this is the third job ID. Okay. So, these are the three intern posts and also we have seen the qualifications. Now, in order to apply for this post, you have to click on this icon for every link which you are opening. You will get a icon called apply here. You have to click on this icon which is called apply and then it will show a page which is an application form. First, you have to click on this I certify and then proceed. Then you can see the application form here. You have to fill up the uh, the primary details, first name, last name, email ID, the country that you are leaving in. Also, you have to attach your resume. So, if you are interested in MNCs, prepare a good resume. Okay, so that is the first thing you will be doing. So, a resume you have to upload. Also, you have to uh, you have to select the expected graduation month, then expected graduation year, and your current CGPA. So, five years are very clearly eligible here. Okay. So, you will get a uh, application form like this for every post. So, you have to apply through that application form. You have to fill up the application form. That is the application procedure. Now, talking about the selection process, this is a fresh of recruitment. So, there will be aptitude test, aptitude reasoning, all these uh, areas you have to cover for the online examination. That will be the first stage. Then, there will be uh, group discussions will be there. Then, uh, technical interview will be there and HR interview will be there. Okay. So, this will be the various stages of selection. And for your technical uh, rounds, you have to prepare areas like VLSI design, embedded systems. Then also, you have to cover the uh, computer science backgrounds like data structure. Also, uh, there will be coding rounds. For that, you have to cover uh, C language, Python, because they are mainly asking for these languages in the first post. Anyway, you have to cover this for the other post also. Okay. Scripting, scripting knowledge in uh, C, Python, all these areas. Also, embedded systems. Okay. So, these are the areas that you have to cover for the technical rounds because Intel is a company mainly uh, focusing on uh, 
uh, designing and manufacturing of chips processors microprocessors microcontrollers all these areas so you have to cover mainly vlsi design all these areas okay for your technical rounds so uh, that's all about uh, the selection process so the last day they have not given in any of these post which i have opened uh, you cannot find the last date so if you are interested please apply for it as soon as you are seeing this video okay because uh, there is uh, after you are seeing this video just apply for it as soon as possible so uh, you have to just click on this icon and you have to fill up the application form that is the only thing you have to do so it is very easy so please do apply for it as soon as possible last date you cannot find and also they have not mentioned any particular year of pass out and no age limit is given here so if you are belonging to any age group you can apply okay so that's all about uh, the recruitment update from intern so these are three posts which are for interns and i'm saying it once again the links you can find in the description the three links will be posted separately okay so if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching